Welcome to the Thursday edition of the Spark Creativity Teacher Podcast, a podcast for English teachers in search of creative teaching strategies. Whether you're new to the show or a longtime listener, I'm so glad you're here for today's quick edition of Highly Recommended. This week, I want to talk about getting you in front of an audience this year. My first year in the classroom, I had an amazing mentor. My department head invited me to her house for lunch regularly. I brought the pastries, she made different kinds of fruit salad, and then over oatmeal raisin scones and papaya, she listened to me talk about everything. Everything I was learning and doing, everything I was excited about. She nodded, she smiled, she focused on supporting my enthusiasm rather than telling me what to do. If only everyone had an Anne Graybeal in their lives. I do remember one piece of wonderful advice she gave me then, and that was to start publishing. She suggested a local teaching newsletter that I could submit an article to, and I did, and it was accepted. Even though I was 22, and it was only my first year of my first teaching job. That one move got me started thinking of myself as someone who could share ideas with others. I submitted a lot more articles after that and began applying to present on whatever was going well in my classroom. Sometimes I presented to a crowd at some lovely hotel. Sometimes I presented to my colleagues at my own schools. Both were satisfying and pushed me to see my classroom as a place for trying new things, analyzing the results, and then sharing whatever I had learned. So today I want to give you the same advice that my mentor gave to me 19 years ago. Put your work out there. Ask to present to your department, your whole faculty, or a local or national conference. Submit a presentation proposal to your state council of teachers of English conference or to the annual national NCTE conference. Write about what you're doing and send it off to English Journal, Read, Write, Think, We Are Teachers, or Edutopia. Pitch yourself as a podcast guest. Send in an educational op-ed to the New York Times. Whatever feels like a good step to you, do it. I believe you'll start to see your work in a new light when you share it. You're a change maker, an agent of creativity, and a profession that's lucky to have you. And today, I just want to highly recommend you share your best ideas with as many other people as you can. 